Welcome to Talking with Andrew with today's guest, my little sister. All right, where are you, Kira? Kira, I need to ask you some questions. Get back here! Get back! You're not supposed to be downstairs. You're not supposed to be downstairs. Here, ask me a few questions. When is your birthday? When is your birthday, sister? Birthday! I know, but when is it? You don't know? Okay, what does your dad do for a living? What? We are now going to go to our host, Andrew Ledesma. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see who's my first guest today. My mom. She is going to answer, I mean ask me questions and see if I can answer them. Yeah, mom. Andrew? What? Why did Woody Gerther and John Steinbeck choose to do a movie and art of the Dust Bowl? Well, they wanted to remember this day forever. Okay, and but why did they choose to do the art? Because the other people make it in color. You know. Come on! I know this answer, but I don't know. They decided to stay and make the movie. So they drew they it their, they drew it themselves to make the movie. And a novel. Oh yeah, and a novel. Yep. What are you doing? What are you doing? I am making a talk show. <laughs> this is my first. Okay, I want you to listen to this part of the book. Done. I'm gonna read it and you listen. Okay. Okay. Hmm? Many sad songs were written during this time. Folk singer Woody Gerther gave voice to people's pain and despair. A migrant from Oklahoma himself, he knew these feelings firsthand. So that means he probably was there. Mm -hmm. Are you recording me? Uh -huh. Author John Steinbeck wrote the novel, The Grapes of Wrath. It's a heartbreaking tale about the Joad family's move from Oklahoma to California when the book was made into a movie. People around the country shared the sorrows of the migrants' lives. Dorothea Ling told the migrant story another way. As a photographer, she captured many pitiful scenes of the time. Her subjects ranged from wide-out farms to hungry children. Lang's photos caught the attention of the government. Okay, right there. The government. She got the government. She got the government to make the movie. She got the government involved. Oh, involved. So they could get help. The yeah, work good. led to better housing for California's migrants. The Farm Security Administration began building camps for migrant workers in 1937. People in Brawley, California, were angry about the camp in their town. Members of the Parent Teacher Association made nasty comments. Are you going to make it possible for more of, more of these hobo brats to go to school with our children? The migrants were good students, though. After life on the road and in the fields, they welcomed the chance to be in school. Dozens of migrant camps soon stretched through California. Farming country, the camps prov provided tents, showers, toilets, and child care. They also gave migrants a place where they could feel safe and unfriendly locals. Camp residents formed councils to discuss problems and organize activities in these evenings. They played cards and checkers. They relaxed, sang songs, and told stories. Yeah, After I get it. After their long day's work, 
at last they could I share a real sense of again. community. I can you tell me what I read? They, f they involve the government to help with their novel and their movie. Okay, and so that's why she did photography. Uh, so the government huh. could see it. So then they got what? They got help. Help. So they could go where? To other places. Like where? Like New York. Like school? Yeah, like school too. So they could go to school. Mm -hmm. So they could get tents. And they could get child care. And they could go to school and have child care. Uh, and have sinks and toilets. Did you hear any of that I said? Yes. Or are we going to turn the Sinks and off? toilets. They gave my parents a place where they felt safe and friendly locals. Okay. What other kinds of events cause the people to migrate from one state to another? Okay, this is for you. So far, this see. takes six minutes and 19 seconds so far. You'll probably have to erase it. What I other kinds of it. events cause people to migrate from one state to another? Mm -hmm. This isn't about the story. This is just you thinking. What causes what was the people... question again? What other kinds of events causes people to migrate from one state to another? Winds terrible, dust everywhere, and a wagon chain just parks right by them. Yeah. That could, huh? Mm. So huh. back in the day when they had wagon trains, mm. and they were building huh. homes back in the day? Mm. Huh. What about today? Do people migrate today? Uh, huh. What about job changes? Uh, huh. What else? Hmm. Migrate, migrate, migrate. Migrate for vacations. I guess so. Okay. I guess you got the hang of it now. Woohoo! The talk show host will be back tomorrow. Bye bye.